y'all, this is Simmer Down South, aka Lainey, and you are joining me today as I start playing Stardew Valley. I'm going to be starting a new save because I've only spent a couple of hours in my other one and I didn't record any of it and I thought it'd be a fun thing to do, especially so you guys could learn from my mistakes if you do choose to get the game or if you're not that far into it. I hope to be playing a good bit of it because it is something that's fun just to sit down and do for a little bit. So we're going to start anew and create a character and name the farm and everything. So that is my name. That's what I go by outside of the simming community. And the farm name, let's go with something. Um, let's see, what, what can we name this thing? Let's go. Got lots of dogwoods. Dogwood tree farm. So I live in the south. We have lots of dogwood trees. So that's what we're going to call it. And favorite thing. Um, let's say. I'm going to say eating. I love to eat. And we're going to go with a dog for the animal preference. And it's going to be female. So, skin color, I'm on the paler side. So let's do, oh my, that's green. <laughs> what is that? They got all sorts of crazy colors. So much like Sims. Let's do 23 there. And hair, what do we have? Some interesting hair here. shirt can do kind of the green that looks nice what else do we have got lots of options here the turquoise it's pretty and accessories is that facial hair i believe it is oh my let's go back we're good. That's fine. We'll go with that. And you can change the eye color to pretty much whatever you want. Um, I've always wanted green eyes, so we're gonna make them green. Hair color. My hair color is brown, so let's stick with that. And we can make the pants. I like the red. That looks nice. Do it burgundy. And we're gonna dive right in. And there's an intro that goes on here with grandfather and for my very special granddaughter oh gramps don't leave me i want you to have this sealed envelope what secrets do you hide no no don't open it yet have patience Patience is definitely not my strong suit. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. That is totally already happening. How did you know? And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Gosh, that's morbid. Is that what I have to look forward to in adulthood? Don't do it. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. Bye, Grandpa. 20 years later. That's a long time. How old was I when Grandpa was not doing well? Oh my god, this is like corporate hell. It's like office space. Terminated. Yikes. That guy in the hat looks crazy. What's his deal? Oh, there's me. Looking thrilled, of course. Oh my god, that guy on the right's dead. Nobody seems to give a shit. <laughs> oh, sh damn. With my old ass computer in front of me. Oh, there's Grandpa's letter. What does that have to say? 
Oh, I should probably click on it. Dear Lainey, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed of that place, my pride and joy, Dogwood Tree Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure thing, Gramps. You got it. And now... Oh, we're on a bus traveling to Stardew Valley, I'm assuming. It's nice and mountainous landscape in the back. Maybe we're in Colorado or something equally awesome. Stardew Valley, half a mile. Oh, little birdie. Hi, everybody. What now? The bus. Hello, you must be Lainey. This chick's name is Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Okay, because I have no idea where to go. Oh my god, is that my house? It's so tiny. This is Dogwood Tree Farm. Look at all this crap on the ground. Yeah, seriously. What's the matter? Um, because it looks like a shithole. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil under that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Okay. If you say so. And here we are, your new home. Yay! Ah, oh, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. I'm kind of a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Yeah. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Don't interrupt. Rude. Don't listen to her, Lainey. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Mm-hmm, trying to sell me on some shit, huh? <laughs> yeah, I bet. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Would they now? Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it up. Oh, be creepier. Good grief. Well, good luck. I'll be coming back at night. Sweet dreams. Okay, then. Your progress has been saved. Move. WASD. Shift run. Check. Right click. Okay. Um, journal. What is this? New introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. I've only met two out of 28 people. Wait, I got work to do. My energy bar is full, so that's excellent. And I got some parsnip seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. So, journal, we have getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest parsnip. Okay. And one of the things I read for tip is to, oh, let's watch the TV, can we? Select channel, weather report. 
Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Excellent. Then I want the fortune teller. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Why don't you just... Ray of sunshine. Living off the land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for a wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Good to know. And pretty sure that's just a bowl. Yeah, decorative bowl. And we have a fireplace, our bed, and a decorative plant. Not much to it. So... What I want to do is I'm going to gather a whole bunch of trees because by um, collecting 300 wood, I can rebuild a bridge on a beach and start collecting a bunch of stuff to, to sell, which is awesome because those are worth a lot of money. So I'm going to start just plucking the fool out of some trees and I'm going to speed on through this and catch up with y'all on the other side. have made a little bit of progress clearing out some of the wood and I wanted to take a second to go over some stuff so what we can do is we can craft a chest using 50 wood to place on the land so we have this hanging out here and we are going to place it right here and by doing that, we can store a bunch of stuff. I right click on that and then I can place the sap in here and you don't want to eat that because it drains two energy. So that's not good. And I need to find a place to plant my parsnips, but that'll clear up some very valuable space when it comes to doing things. So I'm gonna scythe away some of this stuff here. I'm going to pickaxe some of these stones, clear out a little spot for me to put my parsnips. And the scythe is nice because you can clear out more space in one go. And then I need to use the hoe to clear off some land. Oh, another thing I need to do is options. Always show tool hit location and I'm going to turn some of the sound down a little bit. Um, because I feel like it's very loud. And, let's see, I thought there was a always run thing on here. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Oh, auto run is on. Okay, perfect. And so, by turning that thing on, it'll show me where I can go do things so it's kind of nice to have so I don't have to hunt down for it all right so we've got our parsnip seeds that we're going to plant and I can work pretty solidly in a three by three area but this works just fine and we need to water and I'm just holding down the left key and it does it on mass. Water here, water this, water this. And my energy is starting to get pretty low. So, what to do? I hate to go back to bed right away. Let's see if I can harvest anything that will give me energy. Oh, there's some worms. Can I get the worms? Which one do I need? No, nope, that doesn't work either. Can I hoe the worms? I can hoe the worms. 
I got a prehistoric hand axe. We found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. We got a new journal entry. Archaeology. We found an ancient looking object. Could it be some kind of artifact from long ago? Perhaps Gunther, curator of the local museum, has the answer. Cool. What else can we get to? I think this is the bus station. It is. Is there anything else handy over here? What are these things? Anything? No? I don't think those are going to give me anything. No. No, they will not. And I drained a lot of energy doing that, so oops. Let's see what's in town. I really would like to find some other kinds of food. Oh, got people I can meet. Hello, you must be Lainey, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hi, Caroline. My husband runs the general store here, and have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. That's nice. All right, I guess that's it for her. Oh, you weren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. Okay, who's this kid? Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Hi, Vincent. Let's see, who else can I meet around here? Let's, oh, here's this lady. Who's this? Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Mm, I don't know. That's a little weird. Who's this? Come here. Who are you? I'm not trying to cut you. I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Hi, Maru. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Agreed. Thank you, thank you. What else is around here? Anything? Oh, I'm stuck. Can I get any of these? No. Apparently not. I got nothing. I got nothing. Is there anybody else about? Um, hmm. Where is the museum? Where's the map? I am here. There's the blacksmith. Oh, the museum's right over here. Perfect. So is this the museum? This must be it. Um, abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Oh no. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Okay. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. It's probably a good idea to donate. What is this book? There's a book missing here. Okay. Hmm. Donate to museum. I'm going to donate this artifact here. I guess I'll we'll put it right here. Journal updated. What does the journal say? Archaeology done. Ooh! Get 250 gold! Awesome! Gunther asked if you'd consider donating any new artifacts. He says he'll compensate you by way of occasional rare goods. Sweet! That's awesome. Let's see, what else can I do? Anything cool up here? There's the blacksmith. Let's go meet him. It's locked, open nine to four. Oh crud, it's getting late already. Is 
there anything cool up here? Um, what's this? Who's this dude? Come here. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Shane, don't be an asshole. Seriously? Rude. Joja. Join us, Thrive. This creepy brainwashed looking fellow. Morris, welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja customer satisfaction representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Lay off the Kool-Aid, bro. Jeez. Who's this? Anybody? I can get Joja. Oh, I can get a bunch of stuff. Let's see. The parsnip seeds are 25. Bean starter 75. Cauliflower is 100. Potato seeds 62. Can I talk to this person here? No. Doesn't appear that I can. Okay. Now I know there's a general store, so I wonder how their prices compare. And I don't know where that is exactly. It's gotta be right here somewhere. Who's this? Have I met this person yet? Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. He's cute. I'll see you around. Oh, wasn't that just scram? Oh, check the message board. Let's see. Lewis's birthday is on Sunday. Vincent's is on next Wednesday. We've got an egg festival that's Saturday. Haley's birthday, Pam, Shane, Pierre, Emily. Okay. Lots of stuff going on. So let's check out... Oh, nobody's here. Come back when Pierre's tending the shop. Okay. Who's this? Hey, it's Miss Laney, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is a place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. That's cool. Let's see. Where else can I go? Who can I meet in here? Maybe? Perhaps? No, not gonna let me talk to that person. I don't think I can get in here. No, you're not good enough friends with Abigail to enter her bedroom. Okay, it's 7 p.m. So it looks like everybody's starting to turn in for the night. So I guess I should head home. Yep, it's starting to get dark out. So let's go back home and get settled in for the night. Because if her energy gets too low, she'll pass out and I'll get charged at the doctor, which is totally lame. And that would, that would suck. And every time you go to sleep, your progress is saved. So it's kind of important to go to sleep. And since I didn't stay up too late, my energy bar is completely full again, which is awesome. So we're gonna check the mail. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie. All right, Willie. I can swing by there at some point. And I should water my plants because it's not going to rain today. And just doing my little holding the left mouse, which kind of just cues everything up instead of having to click every single freaking one. And I need to gather more trees too to build that bridge. So I might do that for a bit. And the shop opens, the general store opens at nine. Go to the beach. Someone named Willie invited you to visit the beach south of town. He says he has something to give you. Visit the beach before 5 p.m. Okie dokie. And we're going to chop some wood. And cutting down a tree takes 10 chops, but it gives you 10 wood plus some sap, assuming I can get through all this freaking stuff. And the sap, I believe, is used to make certain, to craft certain items. So 
you want to hold on to it so that's why I toss it in the chest and then if you don't chop down the tree trunk you the tree will grow back in 10 days so it's kind of up to you what you want to do with it so I can get what would that give me I worry that's it oh I thought, it, I thought I got something else by doing that hmm wood because I really need to get to 300 which is going to take a while so I can rebuild that bridge because those clams and mussels and stuff that you can collect from going across the beach is pretty nice we got more wood we need to clear this stuff out get out of my way chop all these down Oh, and I can just hold that, oops, instead of clicking every time. See, still trying to figure this out. And then, where is... Oh, that's just destroying it. It's not giving me what it is. So how do I collect that? Hmm. i to clear some of these out. And energy's about half now. So... Let's head on over to the beach. Actually, I'm gonna dump some of the sap in here. And the stone and the fiber. Because I need to make sure I have a spot open because Willie is going to give me a fishing pole. So I'm gonna cut out here and then join back up when we get over to Willie's. I lied. We're back. I thought you'd like to know to see where Lily's at. Ooh, who's this? Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Hi, Emily. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okay, cool. And then the beach access is way over here. And I always seem to take the long way. And you go across this little bridge. And then there's Willy right there. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. That's not a euphemism for something. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Sweet fishing rod. Did that go in my inventory? You received a bamboo pole. Boom. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Cool beans. So we have a fishing pole. And cutscene, apparently. And, alright, so yes, I have my fishing pole. And I read that you're supposed to fish where you see the water bubbling because that's where the fish tend to be. But don't know what that looks like. Oh, there it is, right there. Awesome. So we are going to fish right here. Oh, I'm supposed to... Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Are you supposed to hold it or what do you do? Max. Okay. So we have. Oh. Oh, we got nothing. Okay. Let's try it again. How do we do this? Oh, I have got to get the hang of this. And the bubbles are gone now. 
Hit. I got a hit. To keep it near the fish. Don't let it drop. Don't let it drop. Don't let it drop. Come on, fishy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get a fish. Get a fish. Get a fish. Yay! I got a fish. Sunfish. Length. Five inches. Woohoo! That's cool. Okay. Where else can I fish? That took a bunch of energy, though. Yikes. I've got to get better at that. I'm not used to having to actually work to get fish. Unlike Sims, where you just... Ah, whatever. Are there, oh, there's more bubbles over here. Let's check this out. Oh, why are you... Oh, facing the wrong way. Fail. Broken glasses, boo. Yeah, so apparently the, the speed at which you catch fish is a lot faster in the bubbles. Got seaweed. So I'm looking for the bubbles. Found some bubbles. And then you have to click pretty much as soon as you get that. Getting a bunch of crap over here. Let's try this again. Looking for fish, not garbage. Got a hit! Alright, let's try this again. Come on. Oh no, I lost it! Crap, and I'm starting to get really tired. So let's try to collect some stuff while I'm here. And the bridge that needs repairing is right over here. I do not have enough wood for that yet. So, have to come back when I get 300 wood. And there's usually a bunch of good stuff over there. But what I can do is I can sell the stuff I've gotten. And let's see, I can sell the sunfish for 30, the clam for 50, and the oyster for 40. So that's a pretty good haul. And the trout soup costs 250 but it gives you 100 energy, 40 health, and plus one fishing. So that's good to know for sure. So I'm gonna head home and oh there's some there's some wormy worms which are good and I need the hoe to get those. And I got two stones. Excellent. And who is this? Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. All right, Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. That's all I get out of you, huh? How many have I met? Met 13 out of 28, so I still have a ways to go. Hmm. All right, let's try to get out of here. Oh my gosh, I'm trapped. So I need to go home and get some rest because I'm getting very tired. So, all right. Well, that has been two days in the life of Dogwood Tree Farm. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to end this part here because it has been quite busy and she needs to get some sleep. So... We're going to get some sleep and wake up fresh tomorrow after I check the weather for tomorrow. And it's going to rain all day, so I don't need to worry about watering the plants, which is nice. And going to, um, I don't know, I have to figure out what I'm going to do tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this part up here. And I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up going to be spending a lot of time in Stardew Valley getting a hang of things. So if you want to see more of that, please hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you all next time. Bye guys.